I'm Amy Saffron. I teach, I'm a lecturer in the animal science department. So I'm Steve Zinn. I am the department head of animal science. I'm Alicia. I'm 20 years old. I'm a current sophomore at UConn. Yeah, my name's Ben. Um, I'm a graduate of the University of Connecticut Animal Science program. Hi, my name is Julia Smith. I'm a 20 year old animal science major at the University of Connecticut. This is my first vlogumentary. Welcome to the other side of the hill. Horse Barn Hill is home to the College of Agriculture and Natural Resources at the University of Connecticut. I want to take you on my journey to Little I, the little international livestock show at UConn with Newt, my pig. First semester student here, you get your hands on the animals, you get training, you get whatever need be. I've only been here at Horse Barn Hill for one semester and I've already fallen in love and I thought it would be really important to show everybody who's curious about it what Horse Barn Hill actually is and how it genuinely provides a hands-on experience to each and every student. Our program I think is good that we can walk. You know, students grumble because it's a long walk, but, <laughs> but you can walk. We do really good research in this department, but we are undergraduate focused department so that the students matter. I can take students to the barns and talk about pigs and we're looking at pigs. We maintain and have all the animal, farm animal species right here on campus. I had zero experience working with horses and then I sort of got into them while I was at UConn and now a couple years later I'm managing a horse farm. So uh, as far as that goes, I'd say they did a pretty good job preparing me. All of us in intro were assigned either a beef cow, a dairy cow, a horse, a chicken, a sheep, or a pig for Little Eye, and we were tasked to attend two practices a week to train our animal to be presented in front of a judge as you would a normal livestock show. That Essentially what we had to do was use positive reinforcement called clicker training to get them to follow a cane around the ring so on the day of the show the judge would be able to see that we have control of our pig, that our pig is listening to us and is not distracted by the other ones in the pen. Little Eye, as it was described to us, was basically like a hands-on experience to deal with livestock for um, any UConn student who's in the animal science department. When I was here as a student, uh, Little Eye was not part of a class. It was just a fun sort of an event to show, you know, similar to how it is now, just not for a grade, just did it for fun. Um, so I showed a sheep and I'd never worked with sheep before. Um, so I thought it was a really good experience to learn more about that species. I think it's a recognition that many of our students don't come from farms. And yet, as an animal science person, they should get that hands-on opportunity to work with a variety of species. After seven weeks of training, I was so confident by the time Little Eye rolled around. It was Saturday, November 2nd. I invited all my family and my friends and I had such a huge support system there and I was just so ready to have fun with Newt and show them what we had learned. Unfortunately, Little Eye didn't go necessarily as planned for me. The pigs weren't paying attention at all in the pen. They had never seen dirt before, so they were just eating it, running around. It was pretty chaotic. And we had an issue with the judge. She was not informed that we were going to be using positive reinforcement to train our pigs because in the real swine world and in real swine competitions, they actually use negative training. So while we were teaching them to follow a cane, they're supposed to be taught to respond to pressure that's applied, so essentially hitting the pig. And that was kind of disappointing for me to find out because one, I would have rather just done that from the beginning. And two, I prefer the positive reinforcement and I think there's definitely things that can be changed about it to ensure that that doesn't happen again because I think it was really disheartening for a lot of us. By the time we got in there, our pigs were over it, they didn't, they didn't want a part of it, so they were just having fun. We were trying to keep them in control, but you know, they're animals. Pigs are one of the weakest ones because we haven't had a person that has studied pigs or worked with them in, you know, 10 years. I need to really improve a lot and learn a lot and find maybe somebody to come in and mm -hmm. teach the chairman and husband next year, how do you do this, what do you do, what is the point of it. This year we got close, we just didn't have enough time in the end. What's important for me to stress in this video though, despite the maybe not so great way that Little Eye ended up for me, all it does is make me want to change it. All it does is make me want to see how we can improve it. Little Eye taught me that it's okay for things not to work out as planned. They're never gonna work out as planned, especially in this career and in working with animals. 
you have to be okay to go with the flow to accept unpredictable situations and be able to work with them because you can only go forward. So I, I mean, I'm, I'm happy with what I'm doing, which is what was important for me when I was looking at majors. Um, so I guess that's a, a big part of it. If you enjoy working with animals, this is a good way to get into it. I think that because of our focus on education and our focus on the student, um, they come away with a mentor for their career, not just for their four years in animal science. Just want to take this time to thank you guys for watching and to stick around because hopefully I'm going to keep making more of these. Um, thank you to Dr. Safran for helping me out so much all throughout this year and making Little Eye great. Um, thank you to Dr. Zinn for running this whole thing. Um, thank you to my manager Ben Weidig for agreeing to interview me in kind of a weird condition. Um, and thank you to my friend Alicia because she's great. Newt gets a separate thank you because my life is never going to be the same since I saw his face. I knew that, I don't know, it was all going to be different.